Are you looking to generate waifu images privately and locally for free? Then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to show you as how can you install any waifu model and in our case the waifu diffusion model in order to generate waifu images on your own local system. You would need any commodity GPU for it but you can even run it on a good CPU with plenty of memory. Now, Waifu is a term which is normally used in the enemy. Now, Waifu term is not new and it is not specific to AI models, by the way. As I said, it is from enemy and manga fandom and it refers to a fictional female character, often from these medium that someone admires or feel affection for. It is a concept that reflects a strong emotional attachment to a particular character. Most of the waifu models are on the same or similar line which we are going to see in this waifu diffusion version 1.4 which is diffusion for weaves and as you can see on its hugging face model card it is a latent text to image diffusion model that has been conditioned on high quality enemy images through fine tuning. Before I show you the process as how you can get it installed and play around with it you heads up. First, this model is open access and available to all on Hugging Face. It has a Creative ML Open Rail M license which specifies rights and usages. And it, it uh, this license says that you cannot use the model to deliberately produce nor share illegal or harmful output or content. Also, um, authors or this video doesn't have any rights or on the output you generate. And you may redistribute the weights if you like. Anyway, so having said that, this model is highly recommended for entertainment purposes and as a generative art assistant or more candidly for your own uh, enemy companion privately and locally, especially if you're looking to generate enemy images. Okay, now having said that, let me go to my local system and then we will get cracking on installation. So this is my local system as you can see and I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. First step which we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites which include transformers. So first you need to do uh, pip install transformers. Pip install transformers i already have it so i'm not going to install it again other things you need to install is this uh, skippy ftf wire data set and diffuse all of these are python modules so let's get them installed that is done and fairly quick which is great let me clear my screen let me actually make it bit uh, on the screen that is done now let's launch our python interpreter and we are going to install it locally this is my python interpreter and let me import some of the required libraries i am going to import torch and autocast which is used for the mixed pre precision casting of um, data types and then we are also getting this table diffusion pipeline and this is the first time you will see so you can ignore that message And now let me download the model and I'm just piping it with the stable diffusion pipeline and CUDA refers to my GPU. So let's run it and it is going to download the model. The model size is around, I guess, um, nine to eight gigs. So make sure that you have that much space on your system. While that happens, you have just heard the term diffusion. In the context of image processing and AI models, diffusion typically refers to the technique that spread or propagate information across pixels or regions within the image to achieve specific effects like denoising, smoothing, or enhancing structure and detail. This can involve methods such as diffusion processes based on partial diffusion equations or iterative algorithms that modify pixel values based on neighboring information. So it is quite a good concept and if you're interested, you can read more about it on, on uh, the channel. So let's wait for the model to download. It is almost there. 
and these are all the tensors which are being loaded almost there let's wait for them to finish and then we will proceed further and now let me give it a prompt the prompt i'm giving it is that let me make it sorry a bit more yeah now you can see it so the prompt is that one girl sultry look dark and mesmerizing eyes sleek gown ethereal aura moonlit sky subtle secrets celestial elegance hidden mysteries captivating moonlight and you can imagine sky is the limit here and you can give any prompt in any way it's your private and local system okay but i can't really go more candid here because it's youtube so anyway so this is a prompt here and let me now auto cast if it's guda let me pipe the image here model is generating let's wait for it to finish that is done let's save the image and i'm just going to call uh, let's call my image and then i'm going to save it locally and image is saved so let me quickly um go to my local system because this is a terminal i can't show you here what i'm going to do i'll just exit i'm going to show you there you go so my image is there let me move it to my um local system and then i'll show it to you in the browser give me a second so this is the resultant image and i'm not going to hide anything so you can see that this is the image let me show you the prompt again so the prompt was one girl sultry look dark and mesmerizing eyes and sleek gown ethereal layer moonlit sky so it has tried to do it okay pretty good for a local model let's try out another prompt let me so what i'll do i'll generate few of the images because um i have to go back to python interpreter and do it again so let's generate some of the images with different prompts and then we will uh, look at them one by one let's do it so let me go to my python prompt and initialize the model again so let me clear the screen let me run the python interpreter again i'm importing torch thankfully it won't uh, download the model again because it also already has done it that is done let's give it another prompt so another one so this time i'm saying wistful eyes blonde hair slightly open mouth ear earrings green background hat hoop earrings let's send it to autocast it is going to generate it and then i'm just going to call it my image one maybe save it there you go this one is done let me do let me actually show you and then we will move on to the next one i have copied over the image and this is the image so you can see uh, it is like one girl with full eyes and i said slightly open mouth but it is the mouth is quite open earrings green background simple background solo upper body yellow shirt okay sounds good let's do another one okay let's try another prompt now in this one this is a bit more open so one girl intimate smile silky complexion form fitting attire candlelit setting ex accentuated curves intimate chamber flickering shadows seductive allure so pretty poetic so let's see what it creates this time and you can see the speed of model is really good save the image i'm going to just call it image 2 this time that is done let me move it over and show you in the browser it has produced this image i'm not sure why it has produced two girls but still uh, it has produced this one and look at the eyes and look at the color pretty interesting i should say okay, let's try another one okay, let's try out another one and i promise this might be the final in this one um, one indian girl shy smile glowing skin traditional dress bright sun mysterious charm playful and all that stuff let's see what it generates this time There you go let's save the image i'm going to just going to call it 
image 4 for the reference and it is saved let me download it and show it to you okay so i checked out the image sorry guys it was too explicit cannot show you here <laughs> um on the youtube i don't want to violate any uh, terms so anyway but you got the point that if you want to generate these waifu images locally and privately as per your heart wishes you can do with it and there are a few variants of it too which i will be covering in the coming days so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and but most of them they will be on the similar lines so maybe here and there bit of code changes but more or less they work on the same principle that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please post them in the comments and if you uh, know of any other waifu models which are not that uh, known and you are using them let us know and we'll try to also present it here in a controlled fashion of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching